Before we try to actually lay out the GUI for our drawing program, which is a reasonably complex GUI, we should probably write something a little bit smaller and simpler, but more than just popping up a window. So to do this, we're going to take our same main here, and we're just going to add some stuff to it. Uh, inside of the JFX app, we need to create a scene. We kind of, or sorry, this a stage. So we saw that there are windows in the Scala FX library, and that was kind of a top class that had a number of things under it. The app has a stage that can be set inside of it, and so we want to make that stage equal to a new primary stage. And then we're going to stick stuff inside of the primary stage. In particular, I want to give it a title. Now, the syntax here is actually worth describing. So what happens when I say a new primary stage and then I put some curly braces? It turns out that this is creating something called an anonymous inner class. It's actually making a subtype of primary stage that has some replacement code inside of here. It's anonymous because it doesn't actually get a name, but we can use this structure to, to nest things. Java uses lots of anonymous inner classes. They're not as used as commonly in, in Scala, but it definitely works well here for, for making our GUI. The stage has a title, which shows up at the top, and then the scene, because all of this is inside of what we refer to as a scene graph. So we need to make a new scene, and we give the scene a size, and this is going to set how big our window is. I'm actually going to make this uh, 800 by 600. Now it doesn't know about scene, so I'll import it. Once again, the Control shift o will do imports in Eclipse, and then I can stick stuff inside of here. and. To illustrate this, I'm going to create one subtype of control, a button, and one subtype of something called uh, shape, which we won't look at that much, but, but we'll talk about them a little bit later uh, in this playlist. So let's make our new button. It is a new button, and it will have the highly informative text of click me. We need to import our button. Note that there are two different types of buttons here. There's the one in AWT, which we mentioned was the original Java uh, GUI library. Then there's the one that we want, which is from ScalaFX. When given a choice, you're always going to be picking the one from ScalaFX. I also want to create, let's make a rectangle. Now there are lots of different rectangles in the libraries. Uh, our rectangle is going to take an x, a y, a width, and a height. And so I'm going to give this an x of, say, we made this, so it goes 800 across, how about 400, 200, and then we'll make it 100 by 150. Oop. We need to import that. Once again, we have multiple options, including one that, that we wrote, but we're going to use the Scala FX one. I believe that this particular, the rectangle, yes, the rectangle doesn't, shapes don't use a new, they have an apply method. So we're calling apply on the companion object here. And then I can add both of these to the scene by saying content equals, and then the list of stuff that I want to add. If I run this as it is, here's my window. We have the click me button here. We have a rectangle here. I could get the click me out of the corner by setting some properties on it. So I could say button dot layout x, maybe move it over a hundred pixels and layout y, move it down a hundred pixels. We should talk about that a little bit. 
And then how about we make it so that our rectangle isn't just a big black rectangle. We're going to set it to a different color, something like, and I'm going to go ahead and import color and then dot. There are lots of different colors here. Uh, so sure, Azure sounds like a, a fun color to use. If we now run the program, you can see that the button has been moved over 100 and down 100, and the rectangle is over 400 and down 300, or uh, actually put it down 200. The units here are pixels, so these are individual pixels across and down. There is one thing that might confuse you, and that is because when you're used to math coordinates, it is true that x grows as you go from left to right, but in math coordinates, y grows as you go from bottom to top. That is not how graphics coordinates normally work. And so these are laid out in graphics coordinates. Graphics coordinates go from y being 0 at the top, so this top corner is 0, 0, and y gets bigger as you go down, x gets bigger as you go across. Uh, why is that? Uh, the main reason is historical. The original thing to draw on was paper, and the top of the page was line zero, and then it would go down to the next line, and the next line, and the next line. So Y grew as you went down, and as they moved into other displays, they kind of kept that standards just to, to keep things consistent. So uh, something you'll have to adjust to is that Y grows down here, and every so often that will have an impact on how we're drawing things, depending upon what it is that we're drawing. So this gives you a brief view of how you can kind of set up a very simple JavaFX application. We need to make a stage. We don't have to set the title, but it's nice to actually have some text for a title. We add a scene. We will need to add things into the scene. Here we're adding a content. We'll see that there's another way that we can do that in a, uh, in a future video. And then we have to make the elements of our scene graph that we add in to, uh, to the scene that we've built.